Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding find overlapping shifts part 2. The difficulty level of this question is hard and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called employee shifts with three different columns, employee ID, start time and end time. The combined column employee ID and start time is a unique key for this table. This table contains information about the shifts worked by the employees, including the start time and end time. We are asked to write a solution to analyze the overlapping shifts for each employee. Two shifts are considered overlapping if they occur on the same date and one shift's end time is later than another shift's start time. Okay. For each employee, calculate the following, the maximum number of shifts that overlap at any given time, the total duration of all overlaps in minutes, return the result table ordered by employee ID in ascending order. Okay, let's go through this example. Here, what we have is, we have various employee IDs, their start times and end times. So let us look at for employee ID 1. So there are three different shifts. 1st of October 2023, 9 to 5, then you have 3 to 11 p.m. in the night and then 4 to midnight. Now, if you look at it, there is a overlap between the first and second shift, right? Then there is another overlap between second and third as well. So for employee ID 1, maximum number of overlaps at a given time is 3. And then you can calculate, okay, what is the total overlap period? So if you look at it, you have the overlap of 3 to 5 between these two. Then you have overlap of 4 to 11 p.m. between these two and so on. So once you do that, that is what we get. That is for employee ID 1, we have maximum overlapping shifts 3 and total duration in minutes is 600. Similarly, we can go ahead and calculate for other employee IDs as well. So to solve this question, what we can do is we can perform a self join. That is, we can join this table on itself and make sure that, okay, for each of the employee IDs shifts, let's look at whether this any of the particular shift time overlaps with any other shift. So what we can do is we can, you know, perform a self join. So what I'm going to do is from this table called employee shifts, aliased as E1, let me perform a left join of the employee shifts, this time aliased as E2 on E1.employee ID is equal to E2.employee ID and your E1.start time is between, right, is between E2 dot start time and E2 dot end time, right? So basically this will make sure that you are performing a join for every employee ID on itself and if their start time is between the start and end time of any other of these. So let me go ahead and do this. Let me do select star. Uh, Obviously, we do not need to keep everything, but let me just do select star. Let's see what do we get in our output. Okay, so let me just do this part uh, E1 dot star and E2 dot start time and E2 dot end time. Let me run this now so that it's easier for us to visualize. Okay, you have a shift for employee ID 1 of 3 to 11 and obviously that coincides or overlaps with 9 to 5, right? So things like this is what we need to care about. Okay, now once we have this, what we can do is we can count for every employee ID and shift start time, how many rows are present because that will become helpful for us to count the maximum number of overlapping shifts at any given time time. Let me just write this, it will become more clear. So let me do group by E1 dot employee ID and let's do E2 dot start time, E2 dot start time. Let me return E1 dot employee ID and E2 dot start time. And let me do this, let me do count star. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So now if we look at this, what we have is we have employee IDs 1 start times and 3 to 1, then 2, 
and then three. So basically what it signifies is this particular start time shift. So if I go back and look at this, uh, let me just drag it to the down. So this shift that start at 9 a.m. actually coincides with three different, right? So basically if you look at it, it can, so 9 a.m. it the shift itself, then the second shift and third shift. So in total, three different shifts are overlapping at max at the same time similarly we can look at for employee id 2 and 3 as well so once you have this you also need the total overlapping duration now to calculate the total overlapping duration what we can do is let us you know alias this as let's say count and then we need to use the duration part calculate the duration part using a case when statement that hey case when your you remember in some of the outputs we had the same columns from start time and end time so obviously if you calculate the difference between the first start time and the second start time and both of them are same that means the difference is going to be zero so what we can do is we can simply go ahead and write case when e1 dot start time is not equal to e2 dot start time then you do a timestamp difference right so let us do let me just drag it to the left then what we are going to do is we need to calculate the difference in minute so timestamp difference in minute between e1 dot start time and then e2 dot end time why do we do this e1 dot start time and e2 dot end time so suppose you have for this row right you have 3 to 11 and you have this particular the first one the first shift right after this so basically e1 dot start time is 3 and then e2 dot end time is 5 so the overlap is between these two 3 to 5 right so that is the difference that you are going to calculate here so if your e1 dot start time is not equal to e2 dot start time that means they are not the same shifts calculate this difference else you give the value zero end this statement and this is going to be the part so we perform a sum of this entire thing and let us alias this as duration so if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at this what we have here is we have the employee ids the counts and the duration now once we have this what we need is in our output we need the maximum number of overlapping shifts and the total overlap duration so it's simple now what we can do is we can save this in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we are going to do is from this common table expression let us group by the employee id return me the employee id and then we need the maximum overlapping shifts so we can do max of the count section and that will become my maximum overlapping shifts so copy this here paste it here and then finally i also need the total overlap duration so total duration is basically sum this so what i'm doing is sum of duration and let's alias this as total overlap duration let me just copy it here paste it and we need to also order this by employee id in ascending order so order by employee id in ascending order let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted if we look at our output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and sum it to see past all the test cases this is accepted and this is how to do it so yes tricky question very difficult to explain as well as understand in one go but what we basically did was we performed a self join of the employee shifts on the 
table itself using the employee id and when the start time is between the start time and end time of the second version and we grouped by the employee id and start time to basically calculate okay what are the total number of overlapping shifts and what is the duration of the overlapping shifts once we had that we saved this in a common table expression and found out the maximum overlapping shifts as well as the total overlap duration so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video